So welcome. Uh, we are doing a second lesson on longitude and latitudes. And in this case, I want to, to teach the distance between two places along a long circle or along a latitude. So we are going to see uh, the formula we follow so that we get the distance between two places along the same latitude. So the topic is longitudes and latitudes. Longitudes and latitudes. In this case, we are talking distance along a small circle. Distance along a small circle. Small circles are parallel latitudes. Parallel latitudes. So we can consider, we can consider a circle here. We can consider this circle. Just consider this circle. Zero prime meridian. And we have other longitudes. Other longitudes to the west, to the east, to the west. We can have the zero equator, zero degrees equator, such that now we can draw another latitude here. This is a latitude, a certain latitude which is some degrees to the north. So we are going to consider a place, a place at point A and a place at point B. And in this case, it is good to know that now, consider arc AB, the radius of this arc now is not equal to the radius of the earth. Because now the radius will be through the through the axis of the earth. The axis of the earth. An imaginary line in the interior of the earth. Assuming that there is an axis of the earth somewhere. Then you find the distance from here up to the axis of the earth can be termed as r, small letter radius, which is also on the other side. Such that now, such that now, A and B is an arc whereby we are following a smaller circle, not now a longitude which divides the earth into two. Therefore, the radius of this small circle now is different. But we can get the value of this small circle. Whereby, we can talk of, we can talk of, from the center of the arc, up to where B is, or A is, this is the radius of the earth. But now we have a radius here which we don't know. Though, if this is from zero equator, up to a certain angle to where B is, let's say some degrees called angle. You find because from zero degrees up to this plane where the small circle is lying, we have this angle theta. And because this one can act as a transversal between the equator and the longitude through which A and B are found, then we can say this angle is also found on the other side. Therefore, this other side is containing the same same angle data. The same same angle data. Therefore, now, from that, we can say we have the axis of the earth and we have a small radius along the circle, along the circle where A is lying. Then we have this radius of the earth here. The radius of the earth. There, such that from degrees equator, from zero degrees equator, to where the latitude is, because the latitude now will be somewhere here, so that B is on the other side. So that B is on the other side. So you will find the circle through which A and B are lying, we can get the radius by considering the angle here will be equal to the angle here because they are alternate angles. 
Therefore, the angle here, which is the latitude actually, so the value of this latitude is the angle here because it is from zero up to that latitude. Find the same same angle is featuring here. Therefore, now considering trigonometry, we can say the cosine of theta is given by r, which is adjacent, divided by hypotenuse, which is capital R. And to remain with r, we multiply with the capital radius here and also on the other side, such that small letter r goes to r cos of theta. Therefore, instead of small radius, we can use r cos theta. R cos theta. Therefore, now the arc length AB will be given by theta, which is the angle between them. And this will be the difference between these two longitudes. The difference between these two longitudes. Therefore, we can say distance in a small circle. Distance in a small circle. Distance along a small circle. Along a small circle is given by distance is given by an angle alpha, an angle alpha out of 360 times 2 times pi. And instead of small letter r, now we use the cosine or r, the large one, cos large, whereby. This is the difference in longitude between where A is lying and where B is lying. Give up times 2 pi instead of small letter R, which is the radius of where they lie. We have said R is given by capital R cosine of theta. And theta is the value of that latitude. Theta is the value of this latitude where the two lie. Therefore, we can say R cosine of latitude where the two places lie. Or the distance can be given by 60 multiplied by alpha cosine of the latitude. And this one is in nautical miles, nautical miles, whereas this is in kilometers. It's in kilometers. Therefore, now we can take an example involving small circles, small circles, whereby. Whereby we will talk of Let me take an example An example Whereby we will say Find the distance From P P which is 30 degrees north, 40 degrees west, and P, Q, sorry, which is 30 degrees north, and 20 degrees to the east in Roman 1 kilometers, Roman 2 in nautical miles. Therefore, we can see when you try to sketch the position of these two places, as we find out the solution, you will discover 0 degrees equator, 0 degrees prime meridian. So you will discover a long latitude 30 degrees north, 30 degrees north, we have to the west. 40 degrees to the west, we got P here, then Q is 20 degrees to the east, 20 degrees to the east, 20 degrees to the east, we have Q here. Therefore now we find from P to Q, we are running across, across a latitude, a small circle, whereby we have said the distance along a small circle in kilometers will be given by in kilometers we 
use alpha divided by 360 to pi instead of small letter r we use r cosine of the latitude therefore we will consider difference in longitudes this one is at 40 west the other one is at 20 east therefore the difference from 40 west to 20 in the east is 3 is 60 degrees 60 degrees because now the arc here find that it is forming 40 on this side and 20 on the other side totaling to 60 so we use 60 out of 360 to pi r6370 cosine of the latitude where they are and they are on latitude 30 latitude 30 therefore this will be 60 by 2 by 22 by 6370 cosine of 30 then we divide everything with 360 by 7 and this gives us 5,779.28 kilometers. So that is the distance in kilometers between the two places. We can check distance between the two places again, but now in nautical miles. So in nautical miles, In nautical miles, we are going to talk about 60 times alpha cosine of the latitude. Cosine of the latitude. So this will be 60 times the change between the longitudes is also 60 cosine of the latitude, which is latitude 30. This will give us. This should give us 3,117.69 nautical miles. Therefore, that is how we calculate distance along small circles. Thank you for following. Kindly. Thank you.